Hi guys, it's Shami. So today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful mulberry paper flowers and they're super simple to make. Um, this paper is from mulberrypaperandmore.com. They gave me some of their beautiful scraps of mulberry paper. So I'm going to show you how to make these. All you need is a paintbrush and water and glue and then whatever you're going to decorate the center of your flowers with. I'm just going to grab a paintbrush here. Sorry, I thought I had one already ready to go. And I just have a little bottle here of water. Okay. Now, mulberry pepper is very, very strong. And they have a lot of different varieties. Um, I will put the links below to the specific kind that I'm using. It's actually two kinds. Um, but it's very strong. So even if I tug on it, I can't rip it. But if I want to make it into circles to create my flowers, then all I do is add a little bit of water. Okay, so I'm just going to take this paintbrush, oops, that was a piece of my earlier attempt there, and I'm going to wet the mulberry paper in the shape of a circle. Okay, can you see that? And what that's going to do, it's going to create a beautiful feather edge around my flower, which I think is what makes these flowers so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take it, and very gently, you're just going to kind of pull it apart, into a shape of a circle. Now if it's a little bit off, no worries. And you can pull it without um, wetting it, but it makes it so much easier if you do. But see, it gives it a beautiful feathered edge. And I can take my paintbrush and look at that. So it gives it a beautiful feather edge. And you're gonna do that in three different sizes, okay? So you'll make a big one, a medium one, and a large one, okay? So then once you're done with that, what you'll do is you'll just kind of grab, I made a whole pile of all different colors of all the scraps that I had on mulberry paper, and you'll just kind of create your flowers. So I'm gonna create a green one. So I'm gonna put the white on the bottom, then I'm gonna put the green on there, and then I'm gonna put maybe another little green one okay and then that would be how my flower would look okay now sometimes I like to double up on the white just to give it more structure but you don't have to do that okay and if you wanted to you could add different color centers like you could add red here maybe or I'm looking for a little white one that I don't have but you could add white if you wanted to so just kind of play with your layers however you like so once you decide how you're going to make your flower then you're just going to take your glue um, and it doesn't take very much and because it takes so little to um, actually make the flowers I'm going to do one here for you I just use a paintbrush I find it's easier it's much more it's thinner it's a thin layer of glue so it doesn't take long to dry um, so I just do, I just brush it like that very, very gently. Okay. And then I'm just going to press down. And mulberry paper and more have so many different choices. Um, and to further like define these, you could also add ink to the edges and that would define them even more. So that's how it looks. And then you're going to make a center. So I'm going to show you a couple different styles of centers. Okay. So the first one I'm going to show you is the one with seed beads. Okay. And I'm going to do that for this one. So here I just have some assorted glass seed beads that I got from Michael's. They're like a dollar fifty, And I'm just going to put just a little pile of glue right in the center where I kind of want the middle of my flower to be. And then I'm going to apply some seed beads. And these are just clear kind. And this will take, you know, a little while to dry. Um, so definitely be patient and put them on a, a non-stick surface, you know, piece of parchment paper or your crab mat, just so they don't stick to your work surface. Okay, just like that, okay. And that's how they look. Isn't that pretty? So that's how you do the seed bead center. Now I have these two that I made earlier before. And it's great because you can make as many varieties as you want. And to these I'm going to add buttons. Okay. Now I got these buttons um, at a craft store. Um, so buttons sometimes have like these little plastic things where you put the thread in. So all you do to get those off is you just take your wire cutters and you just add a whole bunch of pressure if they're plastic. You can even do this with metal too, except you'll have to do it a couple times. And you're just going to pinch until you remove that part of the button. Sorry, I'm dropping here. See? 
So now I have a flat surface, okay? And just do that with as many buttons as you need, okay? And then you're just going to put a generous pile of glue because it is a button, and I might use my finger here. I'll add a little bit here too, but tacky glue will work for buttons, okay? And you're just gonna let that dry. Let's do this other one over here. As I said, I find it better to use um, a paintbrush to apply just a thin layer of glue because the paper is so thin that um, the glue will definitely seep through. So you just want to kind of be careful with that. And it'll be fine. It dries clear, so it's not really a big deal. But, um, yeah, but if you don't want a big old pile of glue, then I recommend that you do it this way. That takes, you know, a while to dry. I did that with a couple of the flowers that I did before, and it took them a while to dry. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to kind of show you the ones that I made before. So this is a peach one. Isn't that pretty? And most of these have about three layers, but imagine these on a project. And they're really, you know, they're not as delicate as they look. And they're so fun and easy to make. So I hope you make some of these beautiful mold paper flowers um, for all your projects and you just let them dry. Um, I do tend to brush my seed beads with a little bit of clear glue after it dries a little bit. I'll wait for that one to set and you just let them dry and they're ready to go on your project. Okay, so just make circles. That's all you have to do with your paintbrush. It's super simple and in the shape of a circle and then you just tear them and you get that beautiful feathered edge that I love so much and that's it. And then you just stack them up and you add your bead or your center. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Mulberry Paper and More, for this beautiful paper to use. And I will put links below. Please check out their website. They have tons of great stuff at an incredible price, especially their Mulberry Paper. And um, if you kind of just want to see what they have, you can definitely get a collage pack. And I am very sure that you will have more than a couple sheets of Mulberry Paper. So that's a good way to kind of try out their products and see, you know, what they have is to get a collage pack. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye-bye.